What is up guys, welcome to Anyone Can Trap. In this episode, we're gonna be learning how to vocal chop in two different ways. So let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna be showing you guys two separate ways we can do this. And the first one is pretty straightforward. So I'll show you that one first. Now I'll have this sample in the description. It's just something I recorded. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to trap. And I'm gonna show you guys how we can chop this up and make it more interesting in our drop. So now the first way to do vocal chopping is very simple. You can kind of look for the peaks in the audio where you know the most prominent sound is coming from and literally just slice it there. You know, maybe here, slice it really wherever you want. You can use the uh, lines as a guide. You can take each of these separate parts and then display them out like how we did with the uh, synth here. So we can do the same thing with these chopped vocals. You know, something like that, and we can throw in, you know, whatever other sounds we may see. And this is just a very basic way of vocal chopping, and it's one of the easiest ways, I would say, but maybe one of the most time-consuming as well. You know, so that made like a glitchy kind of sound with it. So that is a basic way of doing that. That's really all there is to it. And the other more convenient way, in my opinion, is to open up a slice X. So let's come to an open pattern. For me, it's pattern 24. I'm going to insert slice X. And if for some reason you don't see it there, you can always come up to add. And then I believe it should be in this list because this lists all of them. So all we're going to do is take our sample and drag it into yeah, our slice X. Now you can see it already sliced it at certain areas. And what's great about this is we can control these just by clicking and dragging. And let me uh, shorten that by hitting the settings button here. And you'll notice down here we have these keys lit up. These are also on your keyboard here, um, on your typing keyboard as well. But you can click on them um, yeah. and they control each separate sound of that sample. And like I said, we can move this anywhere we want. So if I think that this is a little too far up, can move it back here, and then that's marker four. Um, um, um. But I think it's a little too long now, so I can even shorten that. Um, um, um. So now we have a nice short sample with it. And we can do that with all these, whatever we want. Okay, so that should be good. And what's cool is it actually brings it into your channel rack and then plays it out on the keyboard. So when we play this, if we're in our pattern mode, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to trap. You can see that it's playing now, but all of these are separate samples within that sample. So now we can lay it out just like we would any other keyboard or synth or anything like that. Rap. So if I want that to repeat, Rap. which I do. We can repeat it out like this. Rap. Yeah, I'ma show you how to trap. Rap, 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 rap. See, and we can start getting a little more creative with it. Yeah. Out. We can find all these out. different sounds. Show um, 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 like that one. Mush. Cool, so let's listen back to what I have now. Yeah, I'ma show you how to trap. Dope. So now we can just place that into our song. I'll do that at the second half of our drop after these eight bars. And actually I'm gonna put this right before that. Back, back that ass up. Um, 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 um
So it doesn't sound perfect, but I just wanted to show you guys a really cool way of vocal chopping that I thought was a lot easier than just slicing up every piece and then placing it out um, how we did with that synth before. Alright, so I know this video was a little short and I apologize guys, but I just got set up in my new place and I'm really excited to start releasing a bunch of new videos. And remember, if you want access to all the presets and samples I use in any of my tutorials, all you gotta do is head over to my Patreon, donate $2 a month, and you'll have access to all of those things and much, much more. So thank you so much for watching this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!